Hi, my lovelies. Today, I have a wonderful guest. I have the lovely Trey. Trey's channel is called Trey Jones, and I will leave a link down below. He has first-hand experience with a number of things. I will let Trey tell his own story, but his channel really focuses on anxiety. Now, loads of us with BPD or addiction, we also suffer with anxiety. And I would highly, highly recommend going check out Trey's channel, subscribe to his channel. He has so much information there, not just on the problem itself, but how you can overcome it. Um, so I'll leave it there. Um, but like I said, check out his channel and do subscribe. Over to you, Trey. What is going on, guys? Thank you so much, Sharina, for having me on your channel. If you are subscribed to her and you're watching this right now, you are in good hands. She really knows her stuff. She really cares about her viewers and subscribers, and she's going to consistently give you value. An amazing channel, and I'm honored to be here. Guys, my name is Trey Jones. I have a channel called Trey Jones. It's kind of a self-improvement channel with an emphasis on anxiety, uh, help, and recovery. I've done videos over addiction recovery early on whenever I made this channel about five years ago, four or five years ago. Um, I've done health reviews, healthy living. Um, I would love to eventually get into the fitness genre and niche and start doing some stuff on that as I grow. Um, but I have a huge emphasis on anxiety disorders. Guys, I suffered from uh, numerous anxiety disorders for five straight years. It started with my first panic attack that lasted six hours. Uh, it was a terrible experience for me. I was 20 years old. Um, it was after a horrible, terrible weekend of drinking and smoking like a choo-choo train, uh, binge drinking. I stayed up basically two days straight. I came home, crashed, had a palpitation, shot up. Uh, I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Uh, I didn't understand what was going on, but my heart was beating super fast. My blood pressure went up. My chest started to hurt. Had every symptom in the book. I started to hallucinate. I started having tremors. I thought I was dying. Um, I was young at that time and I was living with my dad and I was scared to even wake him up to let him know. I was like, maybe I'm just tripping, you know. I start getting online and Googling what's going on and I feel like I'm having a full-blown heart attack because the symptoms are similar. So the next day I go with my mom and we uh, head up to the her nurse station. She's a nurse, so she checked my vitals and my blood pressure was, you know, through the roof. But uh, everything else was starting to calm down. She told me, you know, you just had a panic attack and I was like, oh my God. Uh, never in my life would I ever thought that I would have a panic attack. Uh, but what I didn't know was that I was going to have five to ten panic attacks a day for the next four years. This is something that I dealt with. It was terrible. I had issues with driving long distances. With, I couldn't drive more than ten minutes without having panic attacks. Um, this developed into horrible health anxiety. I thought I had issues with my heart. I thought I had um, numerous cancers. I would go get checked at the doctors for reassurance, be okay for a little bit, and then feel like they missed something. And I went back and went back. I thought I've had every type of disease in the book. I thought I had suffered numerous heart attacks. This led to me having social anxiety. Um, I had issues. I was embarrassed about my condition. I was scared of, of people judging me. I was scared about being in large, uh, crowded, you know, crowds and being in crowded places or markets or concerts or venues or anything like that, things like church. I was scared that people around me were gonna judge me if I had a panic attack and I would always feel like I had to dart out of there. Um, eventually, I wasn't even really wanting to leave my home. I wasn't agoraphobic, but I definitely stayed at home a lot more because I didn't like driving and I didn't like being around a lot of people. Um, I developed a stutter. Um, I was used to be a very, very outgoing person, but uh, this was just, it just wrecked havoc on me emotionally, mentally, physically. Um, my social skills went out the window. And a big part of this was the brain fog that I developed from my anxiety disorders. If you don't know what brain fog is, it's if you are uh, recovering from any type of addiction or if you have just had anxiety for a very long time, it's just confusion in your mind. You forget things, which you're more forgetful. Um, you have brain farts or whatever. I hate to use that term, it's kind of gross, but that's the best way I can describe it. Um, I would stutter. Um, I would be talking to you and out of nowhere, I would just kind of just have a blank stare and I just didn't even know what I was talking about. Um, it was tough, really, really tough and it was a very scary situation. Basically, my mind felt cloudy. Well, this led to that horrible social anxiety. It was hard for me to communicate, hold conversations. 
Uh, I was very, very and extremely, you know, forgetful. Um, from then, I started to get more depression and I grew deeper and deeper into that. Um, it was a terrible situation. I was never the suicidal type. I wasn't anything like that. I was scared to die, but I was depressed because everything in my life had fallen apart. I had lost a lot of money. I had lost relationships, uh, including a girlfriend that I had for over four years. A lot of that was from anxiety for me. Um, I wasn't happy. I was drinking every single day. Uh, it led to alcoholism being at an all-time high. Um, my addictions were crazy at that time. It led to me losing jobs, some of the best jobs I've ever had in my life I lost due to anxiety, uh, just not being able to handle it, not being able to drive to work. Uh, so I went through a lot. I lost a lot during that time period. But guys, there was hope. I got sick and tired of this. Um, I went to the doctor. And guess what? The very first time I saw this doctor and explained to him what was going on, gave me an antidepressant. <laughs> I was just like, are you kidding me? Like on the first time. And I, I remember going home and I had it. And I was like, am I really about to start taking these? Because if you really think about it, I, I don't know anybody that's happy that takes them. Um, sometimes there are happy people, but it's very rare. And those happy people are the ones that really severely needed it. In my opinion, I think the natural way is the better way to go. I think everybody should at least try the natural way. I don't think people give it their, you know, their all. Um, go at it 100%. I think many people out there, uh, maybe if even you that it's watching, that are on antidepressants, there's a good chance that you may not even have to be on them by doing some of these things I'm going to discuss with you. So I got that antidepressant. I took it for two days and I was like, you know, the feeling hadn't kicked in. It's one of those that it takes, you know, a couple weeks to get into your system and start working. I was like, you know what, I'm not going to do this. So I didn't take it. And after that, after the two days, and I started looking up natural ways. So I started to exercise more, okay? I started to eat better. But at the same time, I was realizing that I had to figure out the root cause of my anxiety. And the root cause of my anxiety was I was unhealthy and I was scared of dying subconsciously. I knew that the drinking every single night and the partying, the not getting any sleep, the smoking, the eating the fast food, the not working out, I was subconsciously worried that that was going to catch up with me and I was going to have a heart attack or I was going to drop dead. And that's what manifested in that first six hour long panic attack, guys. So I had to do things the natural way to get over this. I didn't have to, but I wanted to. So I started working out every single day. I was scared to work out at first because I had health anxiety, so I was terrified that I was going to drop dead on the spot. Uh, so I had to start out small, and I suggest that to everybody that's scared to work out or just out of shape in general, start out small, work up to something bigger. Um, start doing that every single day. Exercise is crucial. It gave me reassurance that I was healthy, that I wasn't going to die. Um, Aside from that, uh, plant-based diet, guys, is so freaking important with your brain chemistry, with your overall health. Um, it's going to help everything, including your stress levels and uh, your feel-good endorphins. All that's going to get flowing. Make sure that you're eating a plant-based diet. So that's going to be fruits and veggies, uh, very lean meats. Be careful with the meat. You don't want too much of that especially when you're dealing with anxiety. I would do things like poultry, uh, light amounts of that. Um, fish is very good, it's high in omega-3. Um, make sure that you're staying hydrated as well. A lot of our anxiety symptoms can be made you know, a lot better and relieved easier by drinking more water. 80% of us are dehydrated. It's, it's a crazy stat, but literally 80% of the population in this world is dehydrated. Start your day off with two glasses of water. Uh, maybe follow it up with some lemon water with some apple cider vinegar. That's going to help you with your digestion. Uh, a lot of us with anxiety have digestive issues, so apple cider vinegar is a great thing for that. It cured my heartburn. It's amazing. Make sure that you're getting a multivitamin every single day, guys. Many of us don't have the greatest diet, so uh, whatever we're lacking in nutrients there, you can get from that multivitamin. CBT guys, you can either hustle and grind like I did and figure out how to do CBT on yourself or you can go the paid way. Uh, there's therapists, counseling, just take advantage and try everything that you can try. Why not? You know, why not? You don't want to deal with this for 10, 15, 25, 30 years or your whole life. I was lucky. I'm one of the lucky ones that dealt with this for five years and was able to dig myself out of a deep hole. So you can do it the natural way, guys, and that's what I preach on my channel. I have tons and tons of videos on how to overcome your anxiety disorders. So <laughs> the natural way is, in my opinion, in my opinion, is the best way to overcome anxiety, and that's what I teach and preach over there on my channel, Trey Jones. So come check it out. I'm sure she'll put a link down there in the description. 
I'd love to have you over there. Thank you so much again, Sharina, for having me on the channel. Thank you so much, Trey, and thank you so much for doing a video for my channel. Right, guys, I hope you absolutely loved his video. I told you he has got so much information and he has first-hand experience. Um, it's quite strange, actually, because you guys know I did a video in the week on medication uh, and I had quite a few messages from people below and some people were like why do doctors just throw pills at us and unfortunately that is the case it's so much easier for a doctor just to prescribe something and leave us to get on with it but the problem with that is sometimes the medications have the opposite effect to make us worse sometimes they can ease the symptoms initially but then we build up tolerance and they stop working and the thing is, eventually when we come off that medication, unless we've dealt with it the natural way, like Trey has said, um, and learn other coping skills to help us with our anxiety, unless we've done that, when we come off the medication, the anxiety will return. So please guys go check out Trey's channel. Like I said, I'm gonna leave the link below. He has over 14,000 subscribers um, and his videos are literally so informative. So do go check it out and do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again, Trey.